Belfast Exposed is a photography centre. Uh, who we have four galleries and we do training, community engagement work and mental health work as well. The exhibition on here at the moment is We Us Them, which is a collaborative exhibition with the Centre of Contemporary uh, Photography in Melbourne, Australia, which is part of the UK Australia season, funded by the British Council and Arts Council. The aims of the exhibition is to explore identity, place, cultural values, and actually looking at um, First Nation communities and the racism and oppression that sometimes they experience. And within the context of Australia, that's very strong with the Aboriginal community, and we are working with the traveller community here in Northern Ireland. For me, the great strength and the joy in the collaboration has been for us and the whole team at CCP to actually work with an organisation that is attempting to do the same thing we are on the other side of the world. Like we thrive on sharing the power of photography on our gallery's walls and we champion the voices of the artists that we work with and our ability to communicate their work, that voice to our community. This exhibition is really important. Um, it's a celebration of women artists. It really highlights the caliber of our artists here in Northern Ireland. And uh, the fact that we've been able to partner and showcase work internationally is, is fantastic for, for the visual arts here. Arts Council Northern Ireland are delighted to support Belfast Exposed through our annual funding programme. Through this we can help the arts infrastructure across Northern Ireland and in particular with core and programming costs so that powerful exhibitions such as this can happen. I suppose a lot, a lot of this project goes beyond what you see in a visual arts gallery. It's about connecting with communities, it's about garnering their stories and about telling their stories and that's a really important aspect. So you look in every one of these works and you see something that is actually from a community perspective. The exhibition continues on until the 21st of May.